Hey guys, my name is Allison and welcome back to my channel. Alright, you'll have to excuse the way I look. I just finished a very hectic day at work um, with all the coronavirus activities and festivities going on. We don't know if we're going to remain open or not. But anyways, I just finished and I really wanted to film this so I could get it uploaded for you guys. So here is my Atlanta 2020 haul video. Okay, so first I just want to say like, I don't have tons of stuff, but I have a lot to say. Um, but I'm going to talk about some of this real quick and then I'll get into just my experience of the weekend with my first time going to Atlanta Pet Fair and competing there. So first... Of course, I had to stop at Bart Elbow's booth and pick up some frills. Aren't these so cute? And you know, these are my favorite. I really like them in my girl Nikki's hair. Oh, there they go. And these were too cute to pass up. They're donuts and cupcakes. And I know I get the box, but I just had to also pick up some stuff. And these cute little candies, wrappers, like little bow ties, but they're candies. I just could not resist. I thought they were too stinking cute, so I had to grab those. Um, next, let's see, let's just go over here. So I also grabbed, well, this was given to me. So if you compete, uh, you normally get like a bag, like a welcoming bag. And in the welcoming bag was some, of course, Bart Elbow's, thank you, Delise, uh, some Wet Pet by Ray Pet, which is a one towel, and I'm pretty sure it's a one-use towel thing. So I really like to keep these in case I forget to take towels with me to compete. So they're always real, they're real small. I shove them in my bag and I always have a towel. Um, you got this really nice Andis towel. And like, this is super nice. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but that was a real nice towel. Um, and then also in our little bag, we got some variety of bandanas from Bandanas Unlimited. So thank you guys for sponsoring that for us and getting us um, just a little welcoming bag. And I almost forgot I also got these bone clips from Bardell. I grabbed one out of here, but I wanna really try and wrap this video up so I can uh, talk about everything I wanna talk about. Uh, next up, I grabbed a Whitman's dilution bottle. I really like this dilution bottle. It's larger than the Hydra one, so it holds some more dilution shampoo in there, but it's still soft like the Hydra bottle, so you're not hurting your hand. After a long day of work, you know, you have to wash that last dog and your hand just physically can't squeeze the bottle. Um, these are literally designed for that purpose, so you don't have that problem, and I love them. I just recently discovered them. Actually, they were in the little competitor gift bag at the last show. So that was the first time I had used them and I love them. So I got another one. I grabbed some Advet shampoo. I have recently really, really liked this for an, an addition to my everyday use of my Hydra. I wasn't able to grab any Hydra at the show. They were pretty much all out by the time I got done competing when Anna was able to shop around, but I was able to snag some Advet shampoo. Next, I've got my Artero goodies. So these is stuff, a couple things I already had. This is their Oil Fresh. This is one of my favorite things for my blades. Um, and then actually this, this is for myself. <laughs> but I also used to say it on my dog. But this is Speed from Artero, which is pretty much a dry shampoo. And it's the only dry shampoo that I have found that works with my brown hair. So I always buy a whole bunch of it whenever I go to shows uh, because I use it on myself. And when I'm competing, I've got some still stashed back here. And then I also grabbed Maddox because I had to compete with my standard poodle who was going through coat change and she was severely matted. Doesn't matter that I did her four days prior. She was still really matted and I had never used Maddox before, but I was like, I need everything I can possibly get to get my dog untangled before I have to compete. And that works like a dream, as well as my Hydra spray and cornstarch and stuff because I didn't want to make her coat too heavy before we competed. So that was a really great um, use and 
a really great product that I was able to use this weekend. Um, I forgot to mention these products were also in with the little bag of stuff that we got when you competed. So it's by Nature Specialties. So thank you guys. A plum silky cologne and an oatmeal. Nope a chamomile and lavender shampoo and a little conditioner shampoo by elite something i don't know eq i don't know guys that's the best i got it's been a real long day okay so next i got some more awesome accessories from the dmk boutique these are just some little easter fun little necklace bow tie things i think they're precious and then i also which i've already opened them so i'll show you got these little floral bibs i love the style of these bibs and i like to mix things up so i grabbed some of those um i also was able to snag this new uh chris kristen comb that everyone's been talking about it is a 507 and its teeth are like two different layers. I don't even know if you can see it there, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't get the chance to use it while competing. I'm kind of weird. I don't like to try new things before I have to compete, but I am very excited to rewash my dog and try this out later this week. I also grabbed this awesome brush from Chris Christensen. Let me tell you all, this brush is slept on. Like I know you all love you all love this coral brush by Chris, right? But this brush, this brush is so slept on, it's not even funny. It is the MK6 and it fluffs like no other. I used it on my Bashan and her coat just fluffed up so awesome. So I'm really excited about this uh, to use for all that purposes. I also stopped and got some Chris Kristen grooming cologne. I've been out for a while. I really like this one. It's like apples and those are kind of my favorite scents on dogs. They're usually not too like strong, but still like enough to still have a scent, you know? And I also grabbed this brand new stuff. I haven't tried it yet, but it is from iGroom. It's a clarifying magic powder. So I actually overheard Lindsay Dickin talking about this product while we were in line waiting for our photos after we competed in all other purebred. And if she's talking about it, I'm with, I like, I'm going to buy it. So I immediately went straight to buy this product. I have no idea how to use it. I really don't know what it does, but I'll figure it out later. She said she uses it in her Bashan and it makes her finish great. So it has a pump on it. It's full of powder. Um, and it, from the videos I've seen, you just spray it in their coat after you finish prepping them. And she, what she was saying to another person was that it just makes the hair go and like kink and like adds so much volume. So I'll be playing around with that this week and I'll let y'all know. Some other must have stuff. I got a pump for my shampoo. Not real fun, but I did get my favorite leashes in the world. Um, so I have these two for my girl. I already have one, but it's a little bit thicker and I got some for my poodle. So they're just, they're from Whitman's, they're rope, but they're really sturdy and they're just my favorite. Um, let's get into Alpha. So I stopped at the Alpha booth and checked out their brand new belt. So I used their other belt. I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram, but I've posted on my stories for um, quite often. And this is their like 2.0 version. And I like it because this one actually like comes undone and you can hook the bigger one in. So like, right, this is the medium size. This is the big one. And then like it has a small. So depending on how big your dog is, you can switch that out. Cause you know, if you have like a really big dog or an obese dog, you don't want a little band cutting into them. So you would want this one that is a lot thicker. And so you can change out the sizes and you can adjust the length of this so it can keep getting wider and wider. 
Um, so that was some really awesome changes they made to that belt that was already amazing in my book. Uh, next I've got, I haven't even opened them guys. My Alpha Loops. So they debuted these, I believe at Hershey last year and I wasn't able to grab one, but these are the teeny tiny ones. I forget what they call them, but I'm really liking it. I grabbed an orange because you all know I'm on the loyalty pet products team. And then I also grabbed a small white one. I know a lot of y'all went up to the booth and were like, I need the white loop. You all wanted in on my white loop. Um, so you all were able to purchase this white loop, but I hate to break it to you. You still don't have the original big thick white loop. I know my white loops in the car, but like, they're regular loops. This is the teeny loop that came in white this weekend. This is the regular sized loop. So yes, you have a white loop, but it's not the white loop. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was giving them all crap about it this weekend. It's no big deal. <laughs> okay, and lastly, I wanna talk about the competitions. I was blessed enough to get three of these I like am still in shock guys. I can't even hold them all. Like I got three first placements this weekend. It was absolutely crazy. Um, but I'm still in shock over just everything. I've been competing for two years. I've been grooming for two years. I've been giving this my all for two years and really ha as far as individually I had not much to show for it. I got a third last year at Safari and I got a second this year at Safari. Um, but other than that all my other my trophies and all this stuff over here was all group placements that I got when I was on the Kentucky groom team in 2018 and we won nationals um i didn't actually individually place but we did win as a team so i have some awards for that but this has just been i really thought i would i was would have my thoughts together for this conversation um and i don't i don't i've it was completely unexpected um, so I competed first with Uma, which is a client dog and they let me borrow and she was in a, she's a cedar poodle in a freestyle trim. It's like an Asian fusion kind of thing I've got going on with her. And she started off on Thursday and I got first, which was, I just literally was just so happy that I got her done because I got even less time on her than I did at Safari. And I had a lot to do, a lot more to do. I tasseled her ears in the ring. Um, I adjusted her, her neck frill. I had a lot of things to try and accomplish in even a shorter amount of time. So I was mad stressed. Um, and then right after that, I got in the ring with my girl Nikki, my Bashan, my, my pride and joy. And that was the only dog, honestly, that I had high hopes for all weekend just because I sold my soul to this breed for the last two years of, of education and learning. And they called second and third and, or third and second. And I was like, that's okay. We probably didn't place. I was looking around the room and um, so many dogs had so much more coat than we did. And they called my name and I was just like blown away. Um, that one, that one had tears brought to my eyes. So that was, uh, yeah, <sighs> Friday, that was on Thursday, Friday, I got to just shop and that was pretty awesome for a little bit, hang out. And I got to sleep in most importantly, because Thursday I was up at like three 30 in the morning. Um, Saturday was poodle day and I got to compete with my standard poodle B. It was her first ever time in my first ever in uh, poodle class. And 
I really wasn't concerned about how well we would do. I don't know that trim very well. I wasn't going to stress about it. Um, I just wanted to make sure that my dog had a really great first experience in the ring and um, that I got done more importantly because I was going to attempt to fully hand scissor her of which I've never done on that dog. So I, I finished, I was so proud of my groom on her and I was so proud, you all have no idea, of this dog. She did so good. I literally, like, I have no words. She did so good and I was so proud of my groom. I'm having her stacked. I'm just looking at it and um, so, you know, like if you've ever competed before, if you haven't, I'll tell you what goes on. You finish and you kind of look around the room and you... You mentally are like, oh, okay, they got first, they got second, they probably got third. Like, you know, you can kind of pick and choose who you think's gonna win. And um, for in Poodle, I was in the back and I'm scanning the room, and the girl that I thought was gonna win got third. And um, so mentally, I'm like, all right, she's winning, she's got a placement. I don't know if I've got a placement or not. I can't see the people up front, so I have no idea what their dogs look like. And I was like, you know, I'm not worried. They called third and it was that girl that had the standard that I thought was gonna win. And I was like, holy crap. Okay, well I didn't place. And honestly, after they called third, I zoned out and I'm just looking at my dog and just really proud of myself in this moment. And they called second and it was, I believe, the girl in front of me, so I know I saw them and I was clapping. And then I went back to just looking at my dog and <laughs> stacking my dog. And then they called me for first and I was just elated. I have never, I don't even, I've done that trim one time on that dog. I've groomed that dog a total of two times in the amount of time I've had her. It was just, I'm still living in a dream. Um, it was crazy, it was just crazy. So, with that being said, I got three first placements that weekend, this last weekend, which was absolutely amazing. Um, but once I realized that I did that, I went from being really excited to freaking out. If you don't know anything about grooming competitions, there are levels. So you have entry, intermediate, and open. Open is like the big dogs, okay? Like, those are the dogs that are picture perfect, like stuffed animals. There's nothing wrong with them. There's not a hair out of place. Like, I would, I don't even know how they judge those dogs because every single one of them in the ring deserves to win everything. Um, and then you've got intermediate and then you've got entry. So entry is like the newbies that we, most of us don't know what we're doing. And that's where I was. So once you get, so you're competing against just the people in your, in your group. So I'm just competing against my other entry fellows. And, um, once you get three first placements, it doesn't matter when, it doesn't matter at what show, um, once you get three first placements, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. Once you get three first placements, you move up a level. So for me, because I got three of these in one weekend, I now have to move up to intermediate the next time I compete. And um, with all this virus stuff, you know, it might not even be this year. I have no idea what's going on, but I really hope towards the end of the year I can compete uh, once or twice more. And now I'm an intermediate with some freaking talented groomers and I am scared as crap, but you know, it's going to make me work harder. I'm going to get harder critiques. They're going to really be picking at the small stuff and, um, we'll see what happens. We'll see if I can bring it, uh, but yeah, that stressed me out so much and, um, it really was just kind of crazy. And then, because I did kind of have a really awesome weekend, I can't lie, and I did get first three times, uh, there was actually as many people as there were that were really happy for me. There were probably just as many that now hate my guts because I beat them or I don't know whatever the 
what was said but so that really kind of put a damper on my weekend um because it's like you know i never did anything to them i know we all work equally as hard but because you're in the spotlight and you're winning people don't like you anymore so i was dealing with that on my eight hour drive home and i i wasn't sure if i was going to address it here on youtube but i did want to just say to anybody that's competing and you're scared that people are going to talk about you to anybody that is just scared to compete um or don't like drama or conflict i just have to let you know that um it doesn't matter if you're winning or losing people are going to talk about you and it sucks and it can take your joy away from doing this it definitely can i really got down on myself and was like screw it i'm not i'm done competing i went out with a bang you know like i don't know why people now hate me that i have been nothing but nice to um i've never done anything to them but you know that's how it goes so you have to kind of grow a thick skin and just realize that They've got their own stuff going on. They're just jealous. You don't, I mean, like, you just take it, hold your head high. So, um, I appreciate the couple pep talks from my friends I got on the way home, uh, congratulating me and telling me to not worry about the people that are upset and, uh, to just keep doing what I'm doing because the people that are upset, those are the people that were an entry and I don't even have to deal with them anymore. I'm an intermediate. So, I've got my own battles, I've got different battles going on, and I've got to focus on my own grooms and my own dogs and what I'm doing. So that's not going to keep me from competing. I am going to continue to compete, uh, but I did just want to shine light on that because yes, I had an amazing, amazing, like the most amazing weekend I could have ever have asked for in my entire life but that doesn't matter people are still if not almost more apt to talk crap about you and i was just like mind blown because we are all doing the same things we're all prepping our dogs we're all maintaining coat we're all there in the ring we're all up at five in the morning we're all traveling we're all doing the same thing we're all put in the same amount of effort so like to try and take someone down that's also doing just as much, if not more than you, is just mind-blowing. Um, so to anybody out there that wants to compete or that does compete, I just really encourage you to be happy for others, encourage, encourage others. I know it's competition. I know we're competing against each other. I know you want to win. I know, I know all this. I've gone almost two years without ever winning anything, not a second, not a third, not nothing. And, um, so it gets to you. I totally get it. But there's absolutely no reason to bash on somebody just because they finally had a good, a good groom. Um, you know, we all work just as hard as each other so that's all i'm gonna say on the subject i'm done dealing with it if anybody has any issues please feel free to contact me i'd love to talk about it um but other than that i'm just excited and i'm gonna live my best life and now i'm gonna be terrified for all the future shows to come but we're gonna it's gonna be fine um that's really all I've got guys. This was just a real quick haul. I didn't have much and um, really just to talk about competing and then I freaking won three first places. What in the world? I'm still in shock. I'm trying to figure out where to put these. I might put move that and put one right here. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. But anyways, don't let anyone take your positivity or dim your light. That's all I've got. So follow me on Instagram, Animal Arts by Allison. You can also follow me on Facebook, but Instagram is where I really try to keep you all updated and in the loop on stuff and new videos. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, please. I so appreciate it. Um, other than that like this video. I'll try and link as many things as I bought as I can in the comments below. Um, I think that's it. So 
that's all I got. Major shout out to everybody that competed this weekend, everybody that won, and everybody that just got in the ring because I know how terrifying that is. So major congrats to everybody. Um, everybody killed it and did awesome and brought their A game. So I'm super proud of every single one of you. That's it. I'm going to go and edit this for y'all so we can get it uploaded tonight. And stay safe. Quarantine yourself if you need to. Whatever. Corona. I don't know. I'm obviously on a lack of sleep right now. All right. I'm getting out. Bye. Talk to you guys next time. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>